six, seven months back, we interviewed Horseshoe Gang. Yeah. And they said that they killed Funk Volume. It was a respectable battle, you know what I'm saying? Like, they mentioned how we don't got as much popularity and fans as they do, and mm-hmm. they're right. And yeah. we, won, and we, we won mentioned- we're, we're top ramen yeah. niggas. Exactly. Yeah, we're we top ramen <laughs> Yeah, we're top ramen yeah. niggas. Even yeah. though we won the battle. Yeah. What's your take on that? Um, they they didn't they didn't kill Funk Volume. Um, <laughs> it, was, it, was a, it was a fun battle. Yeah. It was it was a fun battle. Um, it was crazy. Um, things kind of kind of went too far. Um, I I don't know I don't know their background like that. So I know um, it got it got too far. I was like, oh shit, I went too far. Where they well, Crooked Eye he they all threatened to come to my show, and I didn't know what was gonna happen. I was like, fuck, dude, because um I made this. Everything had died after this at this point, so everything was dead. But then I saw a fan mm. at a at a um, I saw a fan at a show, and this was just like two months into the tour we did. The Horseshoe Gang was like two two or three months ago. It was like it was all done. But then a fan just had a, a shirt that just said "Fuck Horseshoe Gang," and and I thought it was funny because I just it was like oh he's he was following the whole little thing we did. And then um, so I took a picture of him and posted it on Instagram. Crooked Eye got mad because I, because and I and I didn't realize that because you know I, I just it was just a funny moment where I didn't realize it. He got mad where he's texting he was texting Dame then then I texted him like yo man um what's going on I, cause I cause I I saw that he was really upset by it and yeah he was on some it it, it turned it turned some gangster shit real quick oh did it and I'm not about that like yeah it, and I, I and I didn't you know that that's not that's not my world okay. at all so it turned so they're he was um and and I made the post and I was like fuck, and I was talking to all the dudes. I was like, man, should I take it down? They're like, hell no, you posted that shit, don't take it down. And I was like, man, I don't know, man, I ain't about that life like that. Like they, uh. they threatened to come to my show and shit. Like on the when on my LA show, I'm like, dude, I don't, I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to be cool guy. And they're like, man, you look like a bitch if you take it down. I'm like, bro, <laughs> this is this is this is beyond rap. I'm gonna look like like I, I like I don't know like I don't know what, that's not my world. So I was just like, dude, this is, I was just like, fuck. Like, it, cause you know the, the homies are always gonna be like, they're gonna hype you up and, and right. push you with some shit that you want to be in. I'm like, right. and then um, when the shit go down, the homies ain't always gonna be. Yeah, there. no, no, yeah. So I'm like, man, I don't know. I and I didn't know how to feel about it, cause Crooked Eye, he he was clearly expressing like an anger on a whole, and that was that was out of hip hop. And I I just didn't I didn't know where he but was. So so take Crooked it. Eye, Crooked Eye is a friend of mine. Yeah, you know yeah, no, saying? no, and so, and, and so I mean, and, and, and I've been cool with them in the past. So this was this was a new energy where I was like, okay, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely struck the wrong chord. Okay, in, in this so thing. so he was saying what that he they were going to show up at your no, show. No, he was just saying he, no. He he was just texting me the day they're going to show. He's like, we're going we're going to be the, we're going to be at the show, and I was like, oh, Damn. so he's like, so, this is this is your show in L.A. Yeah, yeah, this we yeah, go, we're going to go be there. there. Yeah, yeah go be there, and then so I so I I don't know what to, I don't know what to expect. So I'm like, man, so so then that night I, I was just thinking like, dude. I was hitting him up like, yo, if it's on some rap shit, you know, I'm all, I'm all about that. But, you know, it ain't. That's not. And this is all through text. I'm like, yo, but I'm not, I'm not about that, that gangster shit or whatever you're trying to do. I just had no fucking idea. Okay. So then the next day, I was, um, I talked to one of my homies. He was like, look, bro, you just gotta be real with yourself. I mean, you know, only you know what you're capable of. You, mm-hmm. you are. Don't, don't listen to nobody else. You know who you are, what you're capable of. If they, if they gonna bring that energy to you. You know you're you're you know who you are more than anybody else. And he's like, just be real with yourself. He was like, and he like from the outside looking in, you're Hobson, you're a skateboarder from the San Fernando Valley, you ain't got no goons, you got like what are you like you're not you're not really about the life. And I'm like, you're absolutely right. He's like, so then, you know, I text him, I was like, look, bro. And and I and I knew what would fix that is an apology. And that and the the, the night prior to that when he was, you know, when he was getting upset, I, I wasn't giving him that because and it's not that I was against it. I just, you know, the homie's like, nah, fuck that. Don't delete that shit. Mm-hmm. But then I hit him. I'm like, look, bro, it, it's all, it's all good. I, I apologize. I shouldn't have did that. I got carried away. Um, I didn't think about it from your perspective, whatever. Yeah, I said I apologize, and he said, cool. Uh, every, everything's all good. So <laughs> yeah, was, yeah. But I was, that was yeah. the end of that. Yeah, that, 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 that was the end of it. Yeah. The crooked eyes, a reasonable dude, also. Yeah, yeah. No, and I, but I, but that, but I, I mean, that, that just. It was a reality check for me as well to know because sometimes I go too overboard with shit and and I know that from the outside looking in he he saw that he was like okay you know the the whole this stuff went down which is cool I'm, I'm sure it was fun on there and as well but mm-hmm. it was it was dead and I brought it back to life by posting it and yeah so I, I I can understand what how I can understand from his side how that looked sure yeah it looked like I was just a hothead who just fooled myself and that's not what it was coming off as I just I just didn't look at it from his perspective. 
this is really my first time really talking with me and basically told me like, you know, he didn't appreciate the letter that I dropped and it made him seem like it was, he was a liar or whatnot. And, and they fucking stole off on me in the Nike store. That's so not accurate. Like, that's, that's beyond not accurate. It's so accurate. It's not. It's, it's, it's completely like, true. Nas can, all, all you Nas fans could sit there and hate me and talk a bunch of shit, which they did when I went on Twitter.